Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many data engineers encounter when working with Apache Spark. Our viewer is trying to persist a temporary view for future SQL queries. Let's dive into the details of their challenge and explore how to effectively manage temporary views in Spark. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your questions, answering them and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy just like me and hopefully get to that resolution you need. Now, let's get started. Get to persist a temporary view in Spark, we first need to create the view from our data frame. Let's start by loading our CSV file into a data frame. Next, we create or replace a temporary view using the data frame. This allows us to run SQL queries against it. Now to persist this view, we can use several methods. We can cache the data frame or cache the table directly. Here are the options. After caching, if we move the underlying CSV file, we can still query the cache table. However, only the cache table command retains the data. To persist a queryable view or table with disk only, you should use the persist method on the data frame before creating the view. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To persist a temporary view in Spark, first cache your data frame using df.cache. Then, create a temporary view with df.create or replace temp view, naming it df.temp. When you query df.temp, like with spark.school, it will read from memory. If the data frame doesn't fit in memory, Spark will automatically spill the excess data to disk. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now until next time, I hope you have a good day and see you then. Cheers.